Okay. Hi, and welcome to Let's Play the Emperor of the Moon. This is an old RPG Maker game that I downloaded five years ago. It was made by Daniela, but I couldn't really find the, the creator's website because they deleted everything. But through a bunch of digging and browsing and going through Japanese websites, I found them. That sounded kind of creepy. I'll start now. Phew, I have arrived at last. In a certain world, there was a small country called Yali. That country was ruled by the Empress. The Empress was a kind-hearted person. One day, the Empress suffered from illness. <sighs> this is very loud. The citizens who worried about her condition came to visit. They crossed over the mountains and rivers and took a long journey. Uh, everyone really wished- what? Everyone prayed for her recovery. And the protagonist of this story was one of them. Hold on, this is too loud. Okay. Thank you for coming all the way here. Welcome, I'm Roshui. Nice to meet you. I am Wenshan. <laughs> Wait. It might be a bit sudden to ask, but how is the Empress Bai Tian's condition? What? It's not life threatening. However, it seems that the Empress has a visual disorder, even though it seems to be just temporary. I'm trying the best I can, but somehow, it's an illness I've never seen before. I'm really sorry. Please don't apologize. I've heard about your achievements. You are an excellent pharmacist. Having you beside the Empress, she will certainly get better. To receive such a compliment from you, my mind is much more calm. What? I really mean it. That's a weird... Um, if you don't mind, please drink this. These are made from tea leaves that I raised. It can relieve your tiredness. Thank you so much! Actually, at first I was really tired. But after hearing that the Empress is not in danger, I feel much more at ease. To be blessed with citizens like you, Empress Bai Tian must be pleased. Well then, I will excuse myself. Soon it's time for the Empress's medicine. And this is a place for the guests. Please take a rest here until you feel better. Wow, thank you so much. It's totally fine. Take your time. Mr. Oshui. Ah, as great as the rumor says. After drinking this and taking a rest, I'll head home. To know that the Empress is fine is such great news. I'm so glad. Empress Bai Tian, how is your condition? I'm doing great, thanks to you, Rou Shui. That's not a good voice. I'm very grateful to receive your kind words. By the way, just now it seems like there were visitors. Did my beloved people come to visit? Yes, there was a girl by the name Wenshan. Wenshan. Your Majesty? It's nothing. Recently I sleep so well, Roshue. That's why my condition is good today. As for tomorrow morning, please bring me medicine. With pleasure. <laughs> what? What are those things on the... Wenshan? Why do I feel like this name is stuck in my head? I wonder where I've heard this name before. There are like dolls on the left and right side of the room. They look very creepy. Oops. 
I feel like I was hit by something like an iron? What is this place? Just a minute ago, I was in the guest room. It's so dark here, I can't see anything at all. For now, I should look around? I'm sure I'll find the way out. I thought you couldn't see. Um. Uh. Oh. I'm moving. <laughs> I didn't realize. What? Huh. Okay, I found it. I wonder where I am right now. All I can smell are ma matter what? Water and iron. I drank some tea in that room and wanted to sleep. Then I sat on the chair and... Am iron. I really can't remember. I have no idea. Maybe I was carried here while asleep, Maybe, but, but I have no memory about it. Act first, think later. That's more like me after all. Okay, so the translation's a bit weird. Um. <laughs> Candle. Can I take... Alright. This door is locked, but it seems worn out, and I might be able to break it with my... Bare hands. As I thought. Wow, very strong. <laughs> Hold on. Nothing. Hi, miss. Where are you going? Huh. Oh my. I didn't think- what? I don't think anyone's here. I should be the one who's surprised to be trapped here after I woke up. What are you doing in a place like this? You should be able to tell just by looking. What? I got it. You're doing a roleplay of a prisoner. What the heck? What? Isn't that correct? Miss, if you'd know the answer, then please say it. It's not like that, but you look like a dodgy old man. I don't find it easy to trust you at all. To tell you the truth, I think you are... The scariest living human I've ever seen. You can tell that much in such a dark place like this? Whatever. I had no idea why your jail is opened, but this is once in a lifetime chance. All of the prisoners here are the same. After they woke up, they were trapped here. We received some food in the morning and evening. Not only that, we also have bath and toilets in our rooms. Isn't that great? That sounds like the perfect life for a neat. Miss, the problem is not there. What? Why don't you try to do something? But you seem happy living here, aren't you? <laughs> Please don't say scary things so calmly. Well, to put it simply, we want to get out. But we can't get out of here by ourselves. That's why we need your help. Wait a minute. When did I say that I'm going to help you? Do not listen to anyone who is not trustworthy. That's what my grandpa taught me. <laughs> There is a torture chamber ahead. Yesterday, my arms were cut off because I tried to escape. I believe the blood still remains in that room. More than that, I'm holding the key to go further from... What? From that room. I thought your arms were cut off. If you have the key, then... What? If you have the key, then... Why don't you use it and run away? I don't want to entertain... That guy, that's all. That guy? But first, you should go check out that room to confirm it. I told you the truth. I can swear by my arms. But you don't have arms. Then what about my feet? Alright. Let's shake on it. Miss, you should be careful. That guy still hasn't arrived around this time. I don't know what that means. I have to find his arms. <laughs> I forgot that sound. <gasps> the torture room. Alright, where are your arms? What does that say? Um. Caterpillar man? locked. 
display. What is this? I guess it's nothing. Right? The blood still remains as I told you, right? I... Th <sighs> but I didn't see any arms at all. Maybe they were eaten. Seriously? Leaving that aside, tell me, why don't you go through that door if you have the key? Who is that guy you said earlier? Okay, it's time to explain. First, it's about all the prisoners here. They all come to the palace because they wanted to visit the Empress, but instead they were brought here. I think the Roshue guy whom everyone met before coming here is very suspicious. And why I don't escape even if I have a key is because that guy seems to look forward to seeing us run. Before me, there was someone who tried to escape, and failed. After that, I heard from someone who might be the one who... Uh, after that, I heard it from someone who might be the one who trapped us here. He said, It is fun to see those animals try to escape. That guy locked us here. Then he let us have the key on purpose and walked away. I tried to escape without knowing that and got into trouble. I don't think Oshui would do such a thing. But I can't get to anywhere, what? But I can't get anywhere by just doing nothing. So give me the key. I will confirm everything with mine own eyes. Then I shall free everyone here. I'm counting on you. You receive the key. By the way, you can recognize I'm a lady. Why don't you try looking at the face of other prisoners? What? I'm afraid they're not humans. They might be demons. Recently, it seems that those demons can possess people. They're so good at disguising, after all. So you should be careful. I got it. What? So the other prisoners are demons? As soon as the Empress fell ill, suddenly that doctor came. The timing was too good, wasn't it? Oh, now you're talking. Hurry up! Soon morning will come. What if you're all demons? What if I'm a demon? After drinking that tea, I suddenly felt sleepy. This is so suspicious. Hmm. Sob, sob. I'm being surrounded and can't escape. Huh. It's so dark. It's so scary. There are monsters beyond this point. For those who don't know how to fight, like us... For those who don't know how to fight, like us, will be killed instantly. Roshui strong, Roshui. Was able to break her door with her bare hands. Why is that the sound effect? <laughs> Alright, there you- Whoa. Er, run! What? What is it? Is that a moon? No, it's a ball- What the heck was that? Alright, and then- Whoa! <laughs> oh shoot. Uh oh. What is this? Why? How intense. I have to con- <gasps> I let go of the button for like one second. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'm safe now. They won't chase me this far. I hope. So scary. I'm still shaking. It was so scary. This place looks like someone's room. Well, the room which is connected to the underground, like that. Uh huh? Like this. Maybe this is the room of the one who was pulling the strings. It seems that I have to do this. Instead of leaving this place quietly, I will find evidence and give it to the Empress. Because the sin of trapping me in the underground is... is really heavy, you know? Dark past that I want to forget. Past and present edition. Hmm. Well, that's on the no noise? Noise? <laughs> Hayaku okite. It means wake up, hurry. Nemui means sleepy. There is some gold inside. I can't take it. Clothes are arranged very neatly. It's the same bed as in the basement. I can't think of anyone who'd sleep on this. As someone other than an M? <laughs> In the jar, there is nothing! The Empress' assassination plan? 
what the hell is this? To write it explicitly is too bold. <coughs> the Emperor- what? According to your achievement so far, this time, the Emperor of the Moon directly gave the command to assassinate the Empress. Whatever method to use is fine, but you must not fail at all costs. Okay. Moreover, there's a dungeon in the Empress's palace. It's better to keep those nuisances there. This is... This is really bad. By the way, who is the Emperor of the Moon? Then, I shall excuse myself now. Roshui. I spent a lot of time on medicine. I got tired of waiting to be better already. Roshui, are you there? Who is she? I would be in trouble if she sees me, but it would seem she cannot see, so maybe. That's weird. Aroshiwa is not here, but I can smell water and iron. There might be something wrong. Maybe I should call the guards. But please wait! <laughs> there is someone here, as I thought. May I ask, who are you? I... I am Wenshan. I came to this palace because I wanted to visit the Empress by Tian. Oh, I see. Wenshan. E yes. Your voice is not so lively. Are you scared that much? What? Are you so afraid? Th that's because a commoner like me, wandering around in a palace like this, even doing that looks like I'm committing a crime. What are you saying? It's not like that at all. You are one of my important citizens. A citizen? That's right. What? Then that means you are the Empress Bai Tian? Yeah, that's right. I am the Empress. Now that you mention it, the image of the Empress really fits with her. You didn't realize it? I wonder, maybe I should behave more like an empress after all. The way you are is totally fine. Then I will do as you say. What a frank person. Anyway, let's get back to the story. Wenshan, you have come here and was put in the dungeon after seeing Roshue. Not only that, there are also other captured people and monsters, right? Yes, I made a promise to make sure everyone will be released. I found something. I don't know who is the owner of the room, but... There was a Bai Tian's assassination plan. Please, think about it. You suddenly fell ill and he came to you. Pretty quickly, wasn't the timing too good to be true? Roshiwe is so kind to me. I don't want to think that he is the criminal. This has become a problem. I really want to believe your story, but now that I cannot see you, clearly, and because of that, I cannot check on that written plan. Are you sure that is Roshui's room? Do you want me to doubt him? Th that is... You are. Why are you here? You can throw away that attitude of yours. Empress, how come that... <laughs> Why is that girl here? Roshue. No, I don't know what to do. Wenshan told me that you locked her in the basement, but I cannot believe it. That is... But right now, I'm thinking that, more than you who come from... who comes from a foreign country, I want to believe in my people. Besides, we've found evidence. I found it. I found a written assassination plan in your room. But Empress Bai Tian cannot see. It might be a scheme of that person. I see. I thought of that too. But it might be as she said. The medicine that you gave me might improve my health, but my eyes don't improve at all. It's already been half a year. I believe I have said this already. It's an illness I've never seen before. Empress, this guy's making an evil face right now. <laughs> As expected, after all. 
Now, I thought I could... As expected? Um, now I thought I could... What? Smell that? I believe there's no smell when changing the expression, though. It seems there is no other way. If it's come this far, the assassination has become very difficult. Wenshan, you should better stay what? You better stay back. Otherwise, the Empress's neck will be stained with blood? Roshue? Wenshan, what's happening right now? Empress Bai Tian, please don't move. There's a monster disguised as Roshue in front of you. Hmm, a monster? Then what about you? You're also not a human, isn't that right? Isn't that right? As I thought. I can tell that. What? I can tell by that reaction of yours. You're the one of us. If it's not true, then I won't trap you in the dungeon. You should come with us too. That's why I didn't kill you and just locked you there. It must be hard to live, right? For demons like us to live in this country. If it's the Emperor of the Moon, these kinds of things can change. There are the same demons as you in the basement. Well, it looks like they are so good at becoming humans recently. What? It's so bothersome to distinguish. I wonder how much I've killed them? Stay away from the Empress. Are you still trying to be human? It's so unpleasant to me, listening to your words. Stay away from the Empress! <laughs> you don't need to be so impatient. Well, let's play some simple Q&A. Actually, I don't want to kill you. Because you're the same as me. However, I also don't want to be with an idiot colleague either. Tell me if you're ready. What? What? What are these things? I can't look at them. Uh, this thing looks familiar, but I can't remember. Uh, wait. What? Uh, it's like a turtle and a crane and a dragon and a tiger. If I leave now, there's no knowing what will happen to the Empress. Are you ready? I... yes. No, I mean not yet. Wait. <laughs> Is this a door? No, it's not. Okay. Yes. Come on! I will save the princess and everyone in the dungeon. Ha ha ha, that's the spirit. Then let's start with the first question. How many... How many blue pots are in this room? I don't... Two, four... Um... Six is a nice number. Are you serious? We don't need idiots here, right? Let's start over. Oh. You're letting me try again. <laughs> okay, eight. Well, well, that's correct. Maybe you're cleverer than I thought. Then, second question. What's the answer of the last question? What? Hold on. Dang it. Is it four? Clearly, it is. Zero. Exactly. It is colored then it's one, otherwise it would be zero. Of course. If it takes too long, the Emperor of the Moon might not be impressed. So, this will be the last one. I will ask it again. Will you join us? No. Don't be absurd. Who will want to be your underling? Are you sure? You want to say that? Do you want the Empress's head to be blown away? I won't let you do that. finally can see. So you're Roshue, even though your appearance changed completely. As I'm no longer blind, I won't let you do as you please, Roshue. I would suggest you to get out of here now before I crush you with my power. Eh? What happened with that- wait. What happened with that high and mighty act of yours up until a second ago? 
Dang it, dang it, how come you are able to see? Why, why, why? It's the magic that took me six months to create. It's the magic that can dispel the curse. What? I thought there might be useful... What? There might be... What? I thought there might be the useful for the curse that medicine cannot help. That's why I created this magic. But I never thought to use it like this. What? <laughs> Roshue, get out of my sight. Otherwise. Uh... It's not over yet. Just you wait. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you. Wenchan. Yes, your majesty. I've just remembered something. Something? A long time ago, I lost the jewel and was trying to find it. At that time, there was a girl who tried to help me. That was a memory that cannot be forgotten. It's you, Wenchan. It's a bit hazy, and I can't recall it immediately. Well, uh, let me see. So the girl at that time, your majesty. It was you? That's right. I secretly went outside at that time. You really saved me. What? Time sure flies. We have grown up so much from that time. Hey, Wenchan. Let's drop those honorifics. I want you to talk to me like you used to. If you say so. Bye, Tian. <laughs> By the way, Wenchan. I completely forgot about those people who were locked up in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have completely forgotten. I need to go first, your majesty. What are you thinking? By going there without keys, and you went back to using honorifics again. I will tell the guards to release them. <laughs> then I will talk to them. I will ask them what we should do for the country. As a duty of the Empress. Wenshan, if I never met you, I would surely... <laughs> Why am I feeling like this, I wonder? Well then, first, tell the guards, then... Help Wenchan and the others. All right. Huh? I want to talk to the weird, armless man. <laughs> Meanwhile. What? Roshui failed? So lame. Very, very lame. Well, he is the weakest one among us. Four Deathbringers, after all. There's nothing much to say. Now it seems Roshui is gonna get into trouble. Oh, uh, Roshue. Yes, sir. You don't look so well. What's done is done. Don't think too much about it. More than that, do you really think I would raise a hand on my cute comrade such as you? What? This time was really my mistake. Well, you are still too soft, especially when you're with humans. The other Deathbringers said that you seem to really like the appearance of a human. The, that's... To have something like you is good. What? To have something you like is good. That's what I believe. Roshue, I'm counting on you. With pleasure. <laughs> what? Uh, those who aim for the small country, Ellie, will hold their breath and watch calmly until the right time. The story still continues. Who exactly is the blah, blah, blah. who exactly is the Emperor of the Moon? What is the purpose of trying to kill the Empress of Yeli? And also, about those demons who are serving the Emperor of the Moon. When Shan and friends will have to face many disasters ahead. Friends? You mean the armless guy and the princess? I mean Empress? What lies ahead of them at the end of their journey? The conclusion will be something beyond anyone can imagine. It will be very harsh and sorrowful, which couldn't be helped. That's why this point is as far as the story shall be told. Because the story from now on will be... The story just for that lady and her friends. 
Uh, well, that's a strange way to say they're not going to continue the game. And that was the Emperor of the Moon. That was fun, I think. I enjoyed it. I wish we had some closure on the Armless Man, but you can't always get what you want. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.